Hello, good morning. It's uh, Adil Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the European markets for the 14th of June 2018. Please be sure to visit Trade Signal Signals for market updates from leading providers at www.tradesignal.com, and you can certainly download the app at the uh, Google Play and the Apple App Store. Okay, so uh, back to uh, back to the daily videos now, folks. Apologies as I've been away on holiday. Uh, certainly back now after a two weeks uh, little. Uh, uh, should we say uh, recuperation, regeneration in Turkey and Cyprus? Certainly amazing. Uh, certainly tracing the footsteps of the Ottoman Empire. Uh, certainly quite an interesting trip going into Belejik, into Sogut, uh, in terms of the uh, where the Ertuğrul Gazi started off, uh, Orhan Gazi, Osman Gazi. So amazing, amazing trip. And then obviously went on to Konya as well uh, with the uh, Rumi, famous poet called Rumi. Certainly traced his footsteps. And then obviously eventually on to Cyprus where we were kind of surfing, swimming, etc. Uh, very, very, very uh, uh, entertaining trips to say the least. Okay, so uh, let's move on to markets then. So basically overnight we've had the FOMC raise rates. Uh, yield curve certainly rising on the back of that. Uh, dollar certainly strengthening as well. Uh, we've had weaker Chinese data now overnight, also Chinese stating that monetary policy certainly won't be exhausted any further. Again, that certainly is a net-net potential negative scenario as well for the markets. And the market's certainly feeling that today with the markets certainly down, um, especially in Europe and the US markets yesterday. So that's basically where we stand. That's the status quo. In terms of news flow then this morning, we've had uh, UK retail sales certainly smashing or beating expectations this morning. So that's certainly coming in stronger as well. Uh, other than that, let's just have a look in terms of economic news or economic news flow. Uh, Chinese data overnight, like I said, was on the weaker side, retail sales, industrial production. Uh, we've had uh, UK retail sales, uh, German uh, inflation numbers more or less in line, French inflation numbers more or less in line uh, as well. Uh, and obviously we're looking forward to the ECB now, so that, that certainly will be uh, quite volatile. Let's see how the uh, the market certainly responds to that. So keep an eye on that, folks, as well. Uh, okay, uh, in terms of the rest of the day, uh, U.S. data, import, export data. So keep an eye on that in terms of the uh, potential inflation numbers. And again, all eyes on uh, the Fed as well and the reaction from the Fed. Okay, in terms of the market uh, technical picture, let's see where the market is heading now in terms of the technical picture. Let's go to the FTSE or should we say the DAX first and foremost. Okay, now this there is a pattern that's forming on the DAX, which I'll discuss shortly. Okay, but for now, daily chart at the moment on the DAX, as you can see here, we've bounced from that key support around the 12,600. So far, so good. Uh, German DAX certainly is lagging its uh, US pairs, okay, uh, as you can see with regards to the NASDAQ, let's just bring the NASDAQ up, let's just bring up the NASDAQ, bear with me folks, okay, NASDAQ, here we go, okay, so the NASDAQ on the daily chart, as you can see, is broken out, okay, so impressive breakout, on the German on the Nasdaq, so again with the Nasdaq breaking out, uh, the German DAX certainly obviously is lagging. So bear that in mind. Okay, as you can see in the weekly chart as well, and the, the, the Nasdaq certainly impressive, certainly has broken out to new highs. So you have to respect that. So the German DAX certainly is lagging from that perspective. Okay, uh, German DAX and Nasdaq have quite a strong relationship. So always bear that in mind. Okay, in terms of the 60-minute chart and the, the, the Nasdaq, or should we say the German DAX. The only pattern that I can see at the moment really is an inverted head and shoulders formation, okay? And that obviously is supported by the breakout on the NASDAQ, okay? So from my perspective, the, what, the way in which I'm uh, certainly perceiving this right now is that the German DAX certainly is lagging. We've got the ECB obviously potential decision today. Any potential dovish uh, stance there certainly triggers a potential inverted head and shoulders formation higher to gap fill, gap fill to 13,170, okay? That's basically my interpretation of this inverted head and shoulders formation here. Okay, uh, moving on to the 10 minute chart then on the German DAX, certainly have bounced from that pivot low so far. Uh, we have gap fill up here. Okay, we've got double top support here. Previous resistance equal previous support equals resistance here in this zone. So watch out here. Okay, so again, yesterday's weaker data from Germany certainly didn't help. Uh, and again, un uncertainty regarding the ECB as well. So watch out there. Let's see exactly how that unfolds. Okay, we've got gap fill above into this zone here. So let's see if we can close that gap and let's see how the market responds. Okay, that's basically where we stand. Moving on to the uh, the actual French CAC now. Okay, French CAC again bouncing very impressively. Again, going into that potential ECB decision. Going over to the daily chart on the French CAC. Again, we're just trading sideways. Uh, again, it certainly is a sort of cause for concern with regards to concerns in Italy, Spain. 
so when I last left, that certainly was the theme. Okay, moving on to the FTSE 100 now. Weekly chart certainly, as we already know, putting a potential topping tail. Daily chart trading sideways, potential uh, bear flag scenario here. Just bear in mind, bear flag looking to potentially break lower now on that back of the weaker Chinese data as well. Okay, 60 minute chart. We're certainly looking to bounce potentially in this zone. Hot, solid, solid support zone here. Let's see how far we can bounce. I was expecting a potential bounce up to here at least around the 7680 zone. Okay, and then before we potentially even look to flush lower. So take that into consideration too. Okay, uh, 10 minute chart on the FTSE at the moment. Certainly putting in a potential double bottom scenario. Obviously, if you fail to hold up a bottom here, then the next level we're looking at is around 7640. So watch out for support below. You do have the unfilled gap above at 7705. Let's see if we can close that gap. Okay, it's all eyes in the gap. But having said that, stronger retail sales should certainly be helping the FTSE. Let's look if we can retest this zone here. That certainly seems to be the zone for now. Uh, 7680. Uh, so we hit 7676 already. Let's see if we can continue to move higher. Okay. That's certainly the information there. In terms of European indices, uh, let's have a look at European. Again, quite an impressive thrust so far. Uh, this morning's pivot low at 3460 certainly has been reversed. We've got gap fill above going into the ECB decision as well. So bear that in mind. You do have previous support equals resistance here. So let's see how the market responds here. Okay. So that certainly is the uh, situation status quo. ECB uncertainty. Let's see how the market reacts there. Keep an eye on the Euro USD. Let's just quickly give you an insight there as well. Daily chart, Euro USD certainly finding some support. Now, if the ECB is hawkish, and obviously we know Euro will go higher, and the European equities certainly will fall hard. If European Euro is uh, ECB is a dovish, that certainly gives the uh, the Euro uh, some breathing space. Euro falls, and that obviously in, in, in inadvertently helps the um, the actual uh, stock market indices as well. European indices helped by obviously stronger exports via weaker currency. So take that into consideration too. Okay, so I think that's a good summation really of European equities. Again, weaker Chinese data, concerns over the Fed, obviously tightening position, uh, certainly is adding to uh, angst. Uh, stronger retail sales from the UK again, uh, cause a sterling to rally as well. So a lot of factors at play. On that note, please be sure to visit cfds.com for your training needs. Okay, and take advantage of that bonus and be sure to go visit TradeSignal and download the latest app. Goodbye now.